Hello, you're watching weekly review of the US stock market on the InstaForex TV channel with me, Ekaterina Stichina. On Friday, the US stock market revealed a muted and mixed dynamic as the flash user GDP for the second quarter disappointed investors. Besides, financial reports of several large companies fell short of expectations. On the whole, in July, main stock indexes were soaring amid better-than-expected corporate financial statements and is in concern over the UK's vote to leave the European Union. Nasdaq Composite closed on Friday at the highest level for over a year. It climbed to 5,162.13, having gained 6.6% in July. At the same time, Dow Jones Industrial Average closed the trade on Friday in the red at 18,432.24. The index rose 2.8% in July. On Friday, Standard & Poor's 500 reached its all-time high for a while and then retreated to 2,173.60. Last month, Standard & Poor's 500 jumped to 3.6%. The index has been showing growth for the five trends months, which has been the longest climb for the recent three years. The preliminary data on the US GDP discouraged markets on Friday. The big drag on economic growth was made by weak investments. According to the flash estimate, the U.S. economy expanded 1.2 percent in the second quarter, much worse than the expected growth of 2.6 percent. The Bank of Japan's decision to extend stimulus measures not so radically as the market had expected also had a negative impact on the investors' sentiment. McDonald's and Goldman Sachs were the best uh, performers uh, among the Dow Jones companies. Shares of McDonald's lost 1.5%, while the market cap of Goldman Sachs was reduced by 1.1%. At the same time, the parent company of Internet search giant Google Alphabet moved up by 3.1% after the publication of an encouraging quarterly report. The company's profit rose by 24% within the reporting period, beating analysts' expectations. Meanwhile, meanwhile shares of Exxon Mobil slipped by 1.4% amid weak quarterly finance statistics. Its profit fell to 41 cents per share in the second quarter from $1 per share a year ago. Experts had expected 64 cents a share. Revenue decreased from $74.1 billion to $57.7 billion versus average forecast for $58.03 billion. You were watching a weekly review of the US stock market prepared by you by InstaForex TV team with me, Ekaterina Stichina. Stay tuned with us and have nice trading with InstaForex. Thank <music> you.